So in this demo file here, you can see what I've got is just a basic mirror. Um, it's just a metallic shader with the roughness turned all the way down and just this little monkey that we're going to reflect in the mirror. And if I go into cycles, you'll see we get, you know, proper reflection here, but um, in Eevee, we get nothing by default. So how do we get around this? Well, first of all, I'm going to enable a new ray tracing option. And you see that gives us something, but it's not quite right. There's quite a lot of errors going on. And that's basically because the reflection is only based on what the camera that we're currently viewing this scene in can actually see. So the camera that we're looking at this in can't see the backs, the back of this monkey. So it won't reflect the back of the monkey in the mirror. Um, it's only reflecting the bits that are visible to us. So in order to get around this, there's light probes in Eevee and these sort of can act as uh, their own little individual cameras that uh, serve to only add reflections to things. So in the shift day menu I'm going to go into light probe. You see we have three types, sphere, plane and volume. Sphere and plane do a similar kind of thing but sphere kind of looks out in all directions and plane is just one direction. Um, volume is actually for lighting not reflection as much. So I'm going to add in a plane for this mirror. And this will just sort of capture the reflections of objects that it's pointing at. So if I line this up with the mirror just in front of it, you can see we now can see the back end of this monkey, but uh, the plane needs to cover the entire surface of the mirror. So I'm just going to scale it around a little bit until it does so. And you can see that works perfectly now. And you can also use this for water effects, anything where you have a flat surface, essentially. Now, the next light probe is the sphere light probe. And to demonstrate this, I'm going to add in a sphere. And I'm going to make this a metallic shader. I'll make this the same mirror material. You'll see that we can't reflect, we can't sort of do double reflections in the mirror. We can't reflect already reflective materials. And that's just a limitation, I believe, at this point. Um, so say I have this sphere here, I'm actually going to build a little set for it. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've just basically made a little cube and put the sphere inside of it with a point light. So we can see that the problem we're having is that because our camera can't see what's behind us on this cube, we're not reflecting the back of that. And now we can't use a directional light probe because we'll only ever get one direction at best. So the um, solution for this is to use the sphere light probe, which will look in all directions about a singular point. So I'm going to uh, put this exactly at the center of the sphere. And now you'll see it's better, but there are some problems. And to resolve these, I am just going to play with the settings in the um, sphere node. But first of all, I'm going to scale it to uh, wrap around the sphere. And now if I play with the clipping start value, you can see as I increase that, it will sort of take into account the surface of this sphere a little bit better. And yeah, we get some nice perfect reflections there. And if your objects aren't being reflected in your scene, just try playing with these clipping values, they'll make a big difference. Now I'm going to get rid of that light probe for a second and I'm going to remove the metallic shader on this. And I'm just going to demonstrate the final uh, item in the light probe section, which is just for uh, indirect light. And you can see with ray tracing turned on, we actually already are getting a bounce light uh, just naturally in the new EV renderer. And if we turn this off just to demonstrate what old EV would do, we just get this. Um, but this is, you know, it is faster. So in some cases, it might be worth baking down that lighting if nothing's moving. Um, so I'm going to add in this volume under the light probe. And I'm just going to scale it to fit the entire cube. So I'll scale it in all three dimensions. And these points essentially act as their own, you can think of them sort of as their own sort of sphere probes. So the more we have, the more accurate the indirect light will be. So I'm going to increase these all to 16 instead of 4. You can see we get significantly more points now. If I go back into rendered view, I'll bake the light cache. And you can see we do get some indirect light coming from this now. And this will become more accurate the more points you have, but become slower. And, but personally, I wouldn't really use this anymore. I would just turn on ray tracing because it just gives you more accurate results and just it generally looks a bit nicer, I think. And uh, I always set this to one-to-one -to -one just for a bit more resolution. Another interesting 
um, point is with ray tracing on and while using a sphere light probe say on this sphere if we make it metallic again and I'll just scale it down again and play with the clipping you can see with the ray tracing turned on we get a few little weird artifacts and to resolve these I'm going to turn this from screen trace to light probe and you can see now it only it only cares about what the light probe sees it no longer cares about um, reflections in terms of um, what what we see in screen space so that can be useful if you're getting artifacts like that but honestly it's not too bad apart from on the edges but that's a nice way to clean that up so now let's look at a bit more of a complex scenario and how you might use sphere light probes here so i've just made a few cubes that are all sort of intersecting each other and it's a bit of a mess and I basically want to figure out what's the best way to put these light probes around these so that we can reflect the floor properly and everything so the type of light probe I'm going to try is going to be a sphere light probe for now and you can see as I start to place this around we're getting something going on I'm going to turn on light probe tracing in these uh, ray tracing menus so we can see only the effect of the light probe and you can see that an instant limitation with using light probes is that wherever this sphere encompasses, uh, the surface points that are on this sphere will read whatever the lighting is at the center point. So you'll get some weird artifacts here, uh, if your spheres are too big or they're overlapping other objects in your scene. Now you can resolve this by playing with the radius value and maybe the fall off as well to help soften it. But uh, really, I think the solution for this part is going to be to use box light mapping and just try to, as accurately as possible, represent the surfaces. Turn up clipping. And for these, I'm going to turn on custom parallax and set them all to box, and that should make this a little bit more realistic as the camera moves around it. But you can see this is a lot better than what we had before, but we're still going to get problems where they intersect. and. Basically, uh, the only real way around this is, well, for this scene, I'm just going to turn the fall off way down and try and line them up perfectly with the edges of the box. But you can see it can be a bit of a pain, but you can also see how you can position the light probes and sort of dress them to work for your scene uh, specifically. Now, if I go ahead and place uh, other objects in the scene, you should see it should all update. One little bug that I have noticed with the light probes is that they only seem to update when you uh, move them slightly or just at least select them and then go to move them and just reset them. Um, so you can see if I move this torus, this will only update if I press G on it and then escape. And you see the same with the lighting. The lights don't update until I go and move them. And if I turn on uh, screen traces again, I think that works a bit better for this scene because we actually get a bit of uh, reflection off of the cubes onto the, each other, uh, which we don't get with just with the light probes. So I think that makes this a little bit more realistic too. And overall just improves it a little bit more. But yeah, I really would take this on a case by case kind of basis. But yeah, that's it going to be it for this one. I hope that was useful and informative.